Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Doki Doki Universe. I am currently on my home planet, but don't get settled, I'm about to leave. You can see there's the balloon and my um <laughs> my waitress lady getting on very well. She's going around giving everyone some uh, some nice tasty cocktails, seeing as I, I built a big happy sun here. There we go, shining away. May I take your order? <laughs> anyway, don't get uh, settled with the background either, because I'm going to change it. I'm going to change it to the new one. What was it called? Uh, called Cosmos, the planet was called, where I got this background. I like the music as well, listen to that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like it. I think this is, what's the, uh, this is what the sun's been listening to this whole time. <laughs> Should I change my steed as well? I might try and get a bit more variety in here. What do you reckon? Beaver, parrot. Beaver, parrot. Beaver, parrot. Beaver, parrot. Beaver, parrot. Beaver! Let's go! <laughs> Beaver on, shall we, with the game? Beaver on, that was awful. <laughs> my jokes do just get gradually worse. It's just been, since I started YouTube, my humour has just been a slow but gradual downward slope to where I am now. <laughs> I think I'm just about at the bottom. Anyway, uh, today I am planning to, I might not do it because I don't always do it, but uh, I'm planning to have a Doki Doki Universe sandwich. Why, why, am I, why have I started that as a thing, <laughs> having a Doki Doki Universe sandwich? It basically means I'm gonna do an asteroid at the beginning and then an asteroid at the end. And in the middle, I'm going to do a big old planet for my main course. <laughs> and uh, yeah, then we can uh, we can decide which uh, planet we want to go down to. Maybe this one, maybe... Th oh, oh, this is a scary one. This is Sakaar. It's, like, it's supposed to be like scare, I guess, but Sakaar, Sakaar. Sakaar, I'm going to Sakaar you. Might be that one, it might not be. Uh, I guess we're going to see. Uh, but we don't have to worry about that now. Uh, all we need to worry about is Monk Le Pew, uh, who's going to be um, uh, asking me a few questions about my personality. Uh, which toy would you most like to receive as a gift? A An elephant blowing love hearts, uh, death, or a little remote control car driving over rocks that for some reason have unhappy faces? It's got to be that one. Really? Is anyone going to choose death or a little toy car when they can have a little... Whatever this is, a little very thin trunked elephant just blowing love hearts. I'm gonna go for that one, of course I am. Uh, pick one. No explanation. I can have either a diver getting gold or a, uh, a friendly robot with um, arms. It kind of looks like the robot is shooting fish out its arms. Like the way the, the fish go like across as he lifts his arm. When it like times up perfectly, it looks like he's going like, go fish attack and just fires them out of his arms. Anyway, uh, there we go. I'm going to go for the, uh, I'm going to go for the robot one. Her boyfriend just admitted to being a bug. What should she do? Admit it to, <laughs> how did he hide it for that long? <laughs> I've got something to say to you. Unfortunately, I am a caterpillar. <laughs> I don't know why you sounded like a like a hamster or something there, but that doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, pretend she's known all along. Step on him. No, obviously not that one. Tell him she need oh need some time. That is a painful thing. If you've got a girlfriend or boyfriend right now, never say that to them. That's a horrible thing to hear. Uh, pretend she knew all along. That way, nothing needs to change. Uh, what did the spider just say? Eek a spider. Um. <laughs> What? What did the spider just say? The spider said, "Eek, it's a spider." Oh, did it look? Oh, did it look in the mirror of the um of the dresser? Uh, hey guys, can I join in or take me to your leader? I'm gonna go, "Eek, it's a spider," because that is the. I think it's gonna say something like, "You like visual silly humor or something," because that's always the one I go for. Let's see if it does. There we go, quirky humor. You like quirky off the wall humor. I do definitely like that. Are uh, you drawn to things that are cute and charming? And uh, you are caring, gentle, compassionate, and big-hearted. Oh, thank you, game. You're not bad yourself. Anyway, where should we go then? I kind of don't want to go to the um to this planet here. I don't want to go to a spooky planet. I'm not in that mood today. I'm gonna go to here. This seems to be like a fantasy planet. Uh, there's like a princess and a knight. There's a, a bit of Stonehenge, uh, a little castle, a little house right down there, and a dragon as well. This seems to be uh, a bit more of an exciting place for me to to, to fly on down on top of my beaver to. Uh, yeah, to go and have a look around, uh, meet some of the locals, help some of them out, and uh, hopefully in the process, uh, learn a little bit about myself and humanity. As I'm sure Alien Jeff's about to tell me. Hey QT3, welcome to Gunite. Land of dragons and castles. Actually, there's only one dragon. A dragon. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> have fun, don't get eaten. Oh, brilliant. 
Um, <laughs> look at the little knight down here. Is this the knight that has been quested to, to go and slay the dragon? I bet the dragon's going to be friendly and we're going we're gonna to speak to him and help him out. Uh, anyway, as always, I'm going to go and scour the land before we uh, speak to any of the locals and uh, pick up all of the buildings, spray them around a bit and uh, see if there's uh, any any sneaky presence hiding behind. And look at this castle. It's all like in like, different pieces. I can pick them all up separately. Right, can I? I'm really conscious about picking up the people. Normally when I do this, I'm going around trying to pick up the stuff in the background. And it's the same button to pick up the background stuff as it is to uh, to pick up the people. So you need, do need to be very careful. All right, let me just very carefully... Oh, there. I was going to move the lady out of the way, but I was able to grab it anyway. Anything behind the flag? Behind here? Here we go. There's something behind these flowers. <laughs> Look at that guy. Look at the king there. <laughs> oh, I don't think he's going to be a crazy off the wall king. Oh, here we go. Here's the dragon. Oh, look Look at the ferocious dragon. Let me just move the dragon out the way a little bit. Oh, he didn't like that. I've already managed to upset the dragon. One of the first things I did. <laughs> anyway, I think that's I think that's the, the entire place. Oh, no. There's a, a few more buildings down here which I uh, haven't got. And I think this might be the last few presents now. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'll put you down carefully. I don't think they like it. None of them like to get picked up here. A lot of people, you you pick them up. They go like, woo, how much fun. <laughs> Who needs my help then? Let's go uh, Let's go find someone Someone in uh, Someone in need. Here we go. Here's a, a damsel in distress we can help out. Look when she walks. Look the way her head bobs. It's kind of like a, like a pigeon or something. Come on, there she, there she goes. Look at her head bobbing. Bob, bob, bob. <laughs> how ridiculous. Anyway, let's go speak to this damsel in distress. Hi, I'm QT3. <gasps> Hi, robot! I'm Princess Peak. Stupid name, right? Um, yeah, that must be rough. That is the stupid name. Uh, not gonna, I'm gonna say I like it. I like Princess Pink. No, I like it. <gasps> oh, that's gracious of you. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I must be... Gr <laughs> Excuse me, sorry. I got a little bit tongue-tied there. It must be great flying around the cosmos having adventures. Oh, gosh, I hate it here. Why? What is wrong? Look around you, robot. Endless green fields, crummy old castles, a bunch of stupid macho knights for company. I wish I had a ship of my own. I'd love to get out there and see the universe. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Uh, get Princess a ship so she can leave. I thought you'd like it here. I thought all castles are supposed to have their own little princess. Just so you can go up to the castle and can someone can say the princess is in another castle. Right, let's uh, let's go see if um let's go see if I got something for her to to travel around space. Hmm. Well, I got some I got some uh some planes. What's this? Is this uh, like a UFO with an alien on it? She could travel around with him. Maybe they could they could make friends, possibly. Um, I can't see anything else, to be honest. Nothing else that would that would be good at flying around space. So let's give that, and hopefully I'm not going to get a big backfire. Fingers crossed. Yay! Well, I think she liked it. Invade! <gasps> Hot dog! Robot, you're so awesome! I'm out of here! I hope we meet again in our travels. All aboard! There we go. Get Princess uh, Pink a spaceship so she can leave. Good luck with your your travels, Princess. Oh, look, I leveled up as well. I got a new stint. I got a hamburger. Yay! And, uh, and a new decoration as well. I can travel around in a hamburger. I might uh, switch out my, my beaver for a hamburger in the in the next episode. Anyway, let's go uh, speak to this uh, jolly looking king over here. How are you doing, buddy? Hello there. I am King Pink. I'm QT3. Guess what, QT3? I am preparing a feast to celebrate me! You mean a birthday party? No, we are just celebrating how amazing I am! Do you think you could do me a favour? Could you bring me some kind of food for the feast? Uh, sure, King. I mean, we c it wouldn't be a proper celebration of how amazing you are without a, a good feast now, would it? What shall we have at the feast? We could have an ice cream feast, a sushi feast, we could have a salad feast, a pancake feast, some hot dog feasts, or a chicken feast. I didn't mean to make a rhyme out of it, but uh, what do you reckon then? What about this? What about uh, <laughs> a barrel of kind of garbagey looking smelly onions and garlic and stuff? Um, What's the most feel? Let's have a pancake feast, shall we? I think, I think to celebrate, I think pancakes are a pretty good thing to celebrate. Let's see if uh, the king's going to be happy with it. Breakfast time. <gasps> Why, thank you. What sort of food is that? I can't say I recognize it, but that's why I hire a professional chef. 
Ha ha ha! Well, thanks for the food, whatever it is. There we go. Oh, there's King Pink. Bring some food for King Pink's feast. You are very welcome. I hope you're, I hope the, the big celebration uh, goes to plan and everyone shows up. Anyway, there's a dragon over here. And uh, there's no mission with him, but I do want to, I do want to speak to him anyway. I am Evil the Dragon. Hi, Mr. Evil the Dragon. Miss Evil Dragon. I'm sorry, ma'am. Actually, my name's Marshmallow. Don't tell anyone, though. I won't, I promise. Please don't eat me. <laughs> eat you? Yuck! <laughs> oh, don't worry, they do have a mission for me. They do have a mission. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Marshmallow, the, the friendly sounding dragon. You came back! Hi again! Hello, Mrs. Evil Dragon. You know, I think I have a problem. Could you help me with it? If I die, there will be no one here to take my place. Who will terrorise the kingdom? Who will eat all of the cakes and mess up the king's garden? I'll do it. I'll eat all the cakes. Don't worry, Mr. Stampy Cat. I volunteer any cakes that need eating. I am your cat. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I need an heir. A baby dragon? That would be great. And if you can't find me that, then another kind of cute green baby would be good too. Uh, get a cute green baby for Marshmallow. Um, sure, I can get a cute green baby for Marshmallow. Let me just go down to the, the cute green baby shop and see what they got in stock. Oh, what's this over here? Oh, look, there's a little baby. There's a big and a little dragon there, I think, sleeping together. Or was that just one dragon? It's kind of uh, hard to tell. And uh, oh, there's, oh, there's this down here. There's another little cute green baby down here. Let's give the dragon then. Let's go give her a proper air. Oh, look at it. Ha <laughs> ha, monsters. Nice try. I like that it's green, but it wasn't really cute. Sorry. All right, all right then. Okay, I'll get you another dragon then. Well, I'll get you that, that little cute baby thing, whatever it was. Uh, where was it now? Down here in the, in the corner. All right, here you go. Here's that little cute green baby thing. Ah, oh, sleeping away. Hey there, little one. Aren't you a cutie? Thank you, robot. I owe you one. Yay, Marshmallow is uh, very pleased. You're welcome, Marshmallow. You're welcome. I'm here to help. Only uh, three more missions left here. What's, what's this fella doing here? Is that, is that the guy I gave? No, I think this is just somebody who's hanging out here. Is somebody to help? Pardon me, I put my helmet on backwards, so I can't see anything. I'm QT3. Do you want me to fix it for you? No, I'm just afraid I'm stuck. I just have to live with it this way for the rest of my life. Oh well. <laughs> you sure you don't want me to help you, sir? Well, I guess I'm blind now. Could you summon me some kind of service animal? Like a seeing eye dog. Too small. I need something much fiercer than that. Like a seeing eye monster. Mm -hmm. oh, yep, that's the idea. That'll do. Okay. One seeing eye monster coming right up. Get a medieval monster for Sir Smeldy. <laughs> Why don't you just turn the helmet round? I love how he's just immediately accepted his, his like, <laughs> completely unnatural blindness because he put his helmet the wrong way around. Right, I need a, a seeing monster. Basically, a monster with eyes, I guess. Um... What do you reckon? What do you reckon then? There's this thing over here. He's actually a, a demon. I remember I've used him before. Um, there's a oh, there's a there's another knight up here who seems to be able to see. He's not really much of a monster though. The guy with the camera, I guess he can do. Well, he wants a monster. Let's go for this demon and let's see let's see if that's gonna do. I mean, he can't see what it is anyway. I could give him anything. I could give him a little gerb and he should be happy. Uh, that is a demon. You totally nailed the monster part, but I'm really sorry it isn't medieval. What? Why does it matter? Why does the monster just... Huh? So I need to get something medieval. A medieval monster. Um, I could go. I could go try and give this dragon again. God, I'm just giving these away like crazy. Everyone's going to get one. Here you go. You can go and uh, have this big dragon here. It's a little bit of sleep though. Okay, there's your monster. I can hear it breathing. It must be huge. Hi, monster. What's your name? Lumpy. A courageous name indeed. I am Sir Smeldy. Will you be my seeing eye monster? I guess if you feed me princesses and princes once in a while. Eek! Just kidding. Dragon humour. <laughs> oh dear. There you go. Well, I managed to, to help out Smeldy. You are more than welcome. 
Is he going to give me a present? No. I don't need a present, but it's always nice when they do give me one. <laughs> I know there's two more missions left. There's Stonehenge here, and I've not spoke to, to Stonehenge. How do you reckon Stonehenge would speak? Oh, you gave a little bit of a, a chuckle there. Ha ha ha! Hi, I am Stonehenge! <laughs> oh, hi there. Did you know that I was built in harmonious alignment with several major astronomical events? What? Ah, I lined up with the stars and the sun and all that stuff. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> Any problems with you, Stonehenge? <laughs> it's sunny out. I miss my friends and the stars. Could you get me something to remind me of the starry sky? That would make me very happy. <laughs> sure. Get some stars from. I've actually, I've got, I've got like a solar system. Well, I've actually got a, a star as well, actually. Let's, let's just let's just give the star and see if this is uh, going to make Stonehenge happy. Ah. Oh, thanks, QT3. <laughs> There we go. You're very welcome, Mr. Mr. Stonehenge, sir. One more mission. One more mission to go. One goal not yet discovered. Who haven't I spoke to them? Oh, the little, the little midget one. The little, the little tiny knight over here. <laughs> well met, noble knight. What a nice suit of armor you've got there. Uh, I'm not a knight. I am a robot. Oh, nonsense. <laughs> there are only, there are no robots here. I can, gun, Gunty, you are a knight. Okay, well, apparently I'm a knight, because he said so. Ah, oh, good citizen of Gunty. Live here on this village, far away from the foul, far any evil dragon. At any moment, the dragon may attack. Attack. It may steal a loaf of bread, or steal a pie, or it might even set the king's hippocus on fire again. I don't see what the Ming Neil is. Ha, oh, you mock me, but the danger is grave. We need reinforcements to defend ourselves. Could you summon a powerful warrior to defend our proud city? Um, okay, I guess. Uh, get a powerful warrior for Sir laugh a lot was he called? <laughs> oh, Sir laugh a lot Sir laugh at him a lot, I guess. Right, I need a, a powerful warrior. I've got quite a lot of choice here. There's this guy down here. I got this guy here riding on the turtle. I got this guy over here. Seems to be a pretty powerful warrior. Let's go for the let's go for the the turtle tortoise guy. Charge! Ho oh, oh my! Ho oh, ho! Thank you. Surely our city will be safe now. <laughs> Uh, get a powerful warrior for Sir Laugh a lot. There we go! I have completed all goals on this planet. A new home planet background has been unlocked. So if I want to, to have the, the castles and all of the big green fields and mountains in the background of my home planet, that is now an option that is available to me. Another planet done, huh? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I dare to say something smart about humanity from this one. I was watching you and I didn't see anything, did you? Yes. Okay, fine, I'll ask. What did you learn here? Even when humans live together, everyone can be off in their own universe. They walk around not seeing each other. Oh, uh, right. Uh, that's what I was going to say. Uh, well, on to the next one. That is very, very true. Especially if you've ever uh, worked in a city or had to, I don't know, get a train or a bus through a city. Um, yeah, you can kind of see how there'll be a whole massive crowd of people all together in the same place. And all completely ignoring each other, all on their phones, listening to music on their iPods, on their iPads, reading the newspaper. All these people all together that could be all very interesting people having conversations, but all they're doing is just in their own little worlds. Anyway, I said I was going to have a, a sandwich, but <laughs> instead of uh, doing another a quiz, I'm actually going to go back to a doctor therapist, uh, seen as he's... Um, yeah, seeing as he's, he's asking for my attendance. And yeah, I'm just going to find out uh, a little bit more about myself, hopefully. And also, hopefully, uh, they're going to be very nice about me and uh, not say something mean. And oh, I forgot what my home planet was like. I forgot that I made it all all sci-fi and cosmosy. The, the, the snowmen are continually looking out of place. They only really worked when I had the background and now I'm I'm switching it up. They look a bit weird. But oh well, I don't know how to get rid of them, so I guess they're staying. And let's see what Dr. Therapist has to say. Let's have a look at your personality, shall we? You have answered 103 out of 220 questions. Here are your main qualities. You feel impatient and angsty with reality. You seek surprise and intensity. You are a creator of art. You seek to enrich the world. You are caring, gentle, compassionate, and big-hearted. You like odd, quirky, and off-the-wall humor. You are bright, sunny, and optimistic. You are playful. You like to be entertaining, and you love to laugh. I have 60% yin and 40% uh, yang. 
Uh, I think it's it's leveling out a lot more. It was loads of ying at the beginning, uh, but yang is uh, making a bit of a, a late comeback and they're sort of leveling out a little bit here. Uh, mainly using the right side of my brain, uh, which is the uh, creative and artistic side. Uh, in the middle of my brain, I am bored of reality. Uh, I'm an artistic and uh, creative person, and I'm a sweetheart. Uh, I'm a pacifist flower. Oh, look at that! Full gentle. Nothing on strong. I am not strong at all. I am completely... Look at the slider at the bottom in the purple. I am completely on the side of gentle. You cannot tolerate fighting. Aggression makes you very uneasy. You are a gentle, peaceful uh, person. You seek harmony. That is definitely true. As I think I've said in a past video, never been in a fight in my life and I'm very proud of that and I hope to keep it up for the rest of my life. Uh, I am a charming helper. You are always smiling and helping others. People are naturally drawn to your charm and your good nature. I'd, I'd like to think that's true. <laughs> God, I'm kind of blushing a little bit here. I'm a gracious type. You are neat and very well organised. You are also polite and respectful to others. Uh, you only take credit when it is due. And I am a hidden romantic. Only a little bit. I'm actually slightly... Um, slightly further on the side of a shy than romantic. Your friends don't realise that you have a secret romantic side and uh, you get crushes on people but don't tell anybody. Uh, you are alert cat type. <laughs> That's definitely very true. You are alert and quick to respond. Movement uh, is an important part of your life and you have an excellent sense of rhythm. Uh, come back after you've answered more questions and I will give you some more details. Awesome. Thank you very much, Dr. Therapist. Learning a little bit more about myself there. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, we've run, uh, little, 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 we've run out of time now. Uh, there will be a link in the description to the next part of the Let's Play. Sorry, I kind of just, my brain just completely froze then. I don't even know what I said. I was kind of just going through the motions of signing off a video, but didn't really concentrate what I was saying. I really do generally hope that you are enjoying these videos because I, to be honest, have so much fun recording these videos. These Doki Doki Universe videos are probably, apart from my lovely world, the thing that I look forward to recording more than anything else. I have so much fun in this game, and so hopefully you are uh, still all enjoying watching the series because, uh, yeah, I reckon we're probably about halfway there so there's still uh, plenty more Doki Doki universe ahead of us uh, but anyway uh, for the final time I want to say thank you very much for watching and uh, hopefully I will see you in my next video bye